what I can tell you is that since my childhood, yeah. I've wanted to do one thing, be an asteroid miner. So stay, <laughs> stay tuned on that one. What the heck is being an asteroid miner? And what got you inspired to become this asteroid miner? You so knew that question I, was coming. I, I, I believe that opening up the the resources of space for the benefit of humanity is critical and that there is nothing more um, uh, that's going to drive us. I mean, humanity has always been driven by by looking for resources. You know, it was Europe going to the New World looking for gold and for spices. It was, uh, it was the settlers on the east coast of America going to the, for the gold rush and, and looking for oil um, so we are driven by a resource economy and there's a mindset that people are used to because we're, we're planet centric to think about only the resources on earth but in fact the earth is a crumb in a supermarket filled with resources and so we now finally have the technology to allow us to actually go and extract resources outside of the earth for the benefit of humanity without having to rape and pillage our planet. Uh, it's a concept that for me has always made a lot of sense. Uh, it is uh, huge economic uh, engines that could drive uh, the development of new technologies to open up the space frontier. So uh, as someone who's committed during my lifetime to opening up space and helping humanity liberate itself from Earth, I think uh, uh, resource mining uh, and asteroids uh, are the lowest hanging fruit of the solar system, so to speak. So where are we finding those? There are tens of thousands of them orbiting the sun, and many of them come near the Earth, and you would look for those asteroids that are of the right makeup and are of the closest energy distance uh, from Earth, uh, and ultimately um, develop the technology to, be able to safely extract the resources and then return those resources to Earth you want to use here and keep those resources like oxygen, hydrogen, fuel if you would, water, uh, keep those resources in orbit that you would use off Earth. So are you, is it a company that you do? Is this a completely separate thing? So uh, when I can talk about it, I will. <laughs> but uh, say, you know, safe to say this is a, a company I'm involved in that will be uh, disclosed uh, in the not too distant future. And is it something that, um, it, it just seems so odd to me. So how are you going to capture these asteroids? I mean, how do you go out into space and just randomly, so you know? I'll, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say how, how those things will be captured. What I will say is that uh, humanity has reached a point where we're able to do extraordinary things. You know, I mean, if you stop and you think about what some of the uh, oil and gas companies do, I mean, they literally uh, go for these deep ocean platforms that are 5,000 or 10,000 feet below the ocean surface. Then they set up a city on the ocean floor and then drill down another five or 10,000 feet. Extraordinary pressure and depth and complexity. Uh, that level of complexity and that level of undertaking, uh, you know, is extraordinary and gives me great belief that uh, you know, mining the asteroids will be a lot simpler than, uh, than mining for oil in the depths of the ocean.